Hello, and today we're reviewing the Tuan Inferable Laws of Leadership. Like and subscribe. Another Henry Ford. Edsel's oldest son, the 26 year old Henry Ford II, quickly left the Navy so that he could return to Dearborn, Michigan and take over the company. At first, he faced opposition with his grandfather's entrenched followers. But within two years, he gathered the support of his several key people, receiving their backing the board of directors. His mother controlled 41% of Ford Motor Company stock and convinced his grandfather to step down so that he could become president in his place. Young Henry is taking over a company that hadn't made a profit in 15 years. At that time, it was losing $1 million a day. The young president knew that he was in over his head, so he set out to find leaders. Fortunately, the first group actually approached him. Colonel Charles Tex Sorrenton headed a team of 10 men who had worked together at the War Department during World War II. Their contribution to Ford Motor Company was substantial. In the years to come, the group produced six company vice presidents and two presidents. The second influx of leadership came with the entrance of Ernie Breach, an experienced General Motors executive and a Ford president of Benedict's Air Aviation. Young Henry hired him to be Ford's executive vice president, a position second to Henry's, with the exception that he would take command and turn the company around. He succeeded. Breach quickly brought in more than 150 outstanding executives from General Motors, and by 1949, Ford Motor Company was on a roll again. In that year, the company sold more than a million Fords, Mercury's, and Lincoln's, the best sales since the Model A. And basically, Edsel's youngest son, like, took over the company and made it better, and not by being a bad leader, he, like, recruited people, because he knew he wasn't that good at leading. And so, a permanent prescription is a book about how my mom got the 50 apartments, and as like kids, is a book that teaches kids how they can be assets and help their parents, and they're both on Amazon, so find them there. Okay, I hope you liked that. If you did, please like and subscribe. Bye!